Oh, everybody, I love you. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're ready to roll. Because you know what? I think I am. We have a secret GM sitting around getting ready to join us. By the way, this round is the Iron GM, which means that out of three choices, the players got to choose one person. If they voted for the same GM, then that person shows up happy, absolutely ecstatic, and gives them a wonderful, beautiful game. But if they disagree, then they get the third person who neither of them chose. So let's go ahead and welcome on in the various GMs. We've got Iron GM, I can afford burritos. Me, of course. Oh, I love burritos. Iron GM, Disney princess, uh-oh. Yeah, that's right, you get a little blasphemous roar, although looking a little less princess-like today than usual. And finally, Iron GM, uh, the fox. Yeah, it's Tristan. You know, Tristan keeps showing up, I have to, yeah, anyways. So let, let's go ahead and take a look. Our first player, Novasol, opted to vote for Tristan. Our second player, Poltergeist, opted to vote for me, which means that Blasphemous Roar is the GM for today. Wait, what happened? That's not Tristan. Literally, all I saw was blank. Like, okay, what's it supposed to be? That's Iron G- Well, you could have told me it was Faizu. I didn't see that. Okay. Like, I went back and looked at the information that I had, and I didn't see Faizu listed anywhere at all. So I just went with what I had. <laughs> this is where, where are you? I was waiting for you to tell me to come in. Well, come in! Come in! Hey, apparently I messed up. Here, let me go ahead and change it since this is going to be on screen for a whole five minutes. Okay, Iron GM, not Tristan. Let me change the picture here. Okay, Faizu. <laughs> it's important that the players know for sure who the mistake they made was. Okay. That led them to me. Where's Faizu's picture? Where are you? Faizu! I don't know where his picture is. Uh, we'll just say it was Andy instead. <laughs> okay, uh, Blasphemous Roar! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find the picture! Blasphemous oh, Roar, dear. I think it's time uh, for you to reveal what game we're gonna have today. <laughs> well, well, Bruce Sentry, you see, do you ever have one of those games that you put on your list way at the start, and then you try to give it a few times, but then you keep screwing up, and you realize that you're just running into issue after issue after issue getting this game, and you're surprised that the game that you thought you totally had ready to go, and nobody was gonna be expecting got vetoed, and then you had to pull out this, and you're like, oh my god, I finally get to pull this. <gasps> Uh, yeah, I've had that happen, like, every day. But, you know, that's the joy of being a Kuso Grand GM. You've got to stay one step ahead of the Kuso, one step ahead of the pack. That's right! You guessed it. Oh, it's no. It's Aladdin for the Game Boy! Ooh, ooh, I love Game Boy games. I love Aladdin games. This, there's Great, no way you this won't love this one. Oh, I'm trying to remember because I know the Game Gear version. Uh, I think I've actually played this one. How similar is it to the Super Nintendo? It's not similar to the Super Nintendo at all. You see, there are three major Aladdin games that are out there for the retro systems. That is the Virgin games, the Sega Studios games, and the uh, Capcom game. Capcom was the SNES and GBA. Uh, with Capcom was the SNES and they re-released it for GBA. Virgin did the game for the NES, I believe was only in Europe though. Um, okay. NES, Game Boy, Sega Genesis, and the um, and the and DOS, uh, Virgin, and then the Sega Studios. I don't remember if it was Sega Studios. It might be somebody else. Did the um, did the Game Gear and Sega Master Systems game. Now, a lot of things about these games that are interesting is so basically, you all have been told before the story of how I ended up doing a bunch of Disney games this time. 
um, is because in the build up to me playing Kingdom Hearts on my stream, I was playing a game for each world. Aww. And after, so like, you know, I was playing Aladdin for Agrabah or the Little Mermaid for Atlantis. And, uh, or Atlantica, sorry. You don't, don't Escape send the pack. From Atlantica. The nah, it's fine. Uh, Nobody likes so, Atlantica anyway. <laughs> That's why they turned it into a musical in the second one. Uh, yeah, uh, that was a mistake, let me tell you. So basically, um, those those are the three main systems. And then one day, out of a horrible mistake, after I'd done Aladdin, I ended up kind of going on a bit of a port spree. Okay. And ended up playing, uh, looks like, 11 Aladdin games in one stream. Um, so I've played every single port for Aladdin, save for DOS, because I'm just not tracking DOS on my on my game list. And this, my friends, is the worst. You might think that a Game Gear or Sega or, or Master System game might be the worst, but no, those games are actually amazing. Like seriously, they're like Prince of Persia in some of them. They're mostly auto scrollers, and they use a bonkers 3D effects. But enough Ooh. of the good games. This is a downgrade to the Virgin Games Aladdin. This is a not good game uh, because the thing about the Virgin, the, the basically there are the, the storyboarding and some of the effects in the SMS are really good. Uh, the Capcom version, of course, has some really crazy good uh, gameplay that, that's really enabled for a lot of speed tech, especially with the way that the sheet works and the way that they're flipping and jumping works. And then... Um, the uh oh one sec uh no it should be it should be poltergeist oh poltergeist okay yep um but like the virgin gameplay or games aladdin has the best stage design it's got some amazing stages to it uh and honestly if you somehow put together all three you might just have the perfect aladdin game but unfortunately we never got that instead we have of course disney throwing money at studios to make things happen <coughs> this year is for fit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, whoa! Don't cough. Don't cough. Well, I mean, you can cough. It's fine. I've got, I've got Singapore Mayfoon stuck in my throat. All right, don't mind me. Okay, let's see. Uh, I do hear audio from Poltergeist, uh, but it's super quiet. Yeah, if only, if only I, if only somebody had mentioned to you about all that, you know. <laughs> Definitely, somebody had. To you know, if, on, if only I knew Pfizer was uh, Iron GM blank, uh, and if only I knew th who was doing audio so that we could have checked this a while ago. <laughs> oh, everybody, welcome to life. Uh, my name is Brosentia, and this is life. Yeah. I'm so, sorry, yeah, it's the game of life. Game. It's a game of life. We're a game of life? Do you know the rules? Oh my gosh. Uh, rule one. Uh, if there is more than two in j adjacent squares, then kill the one because there, uh, too much resources are being eaten. Yeah, I can make this work. Okay, just a second. Let me go ahead. The, the thing that I'm worried about is that I'm going to forget that I did it on my side, and then when we switch to... Uh, hey, the match is over. It's going to destroy people's ears. So if you are watching and yeah, just know at the hour mark, I might forget stuff. <laughs> I love okay, this. Okay, I should probably stop talking to people on the side and trying to solve everything. And now now we're going to, uh, yeah, we got some Aladdin. Where's my timer? My timer is, my timer on my side is suspiciously lacking my negative. See, I wow. put in negative numbers so that that way it counts down because I am classier than you, Rosentia. Wow, I'm so proud of you. You know what? Know. I'm more proud of the players uh, because they are ready to begin. I am doing the countdown. Everybody spam all of your emotes, possibly tangentially related to Aladdin, including swords. Uh, Iago? I'm, I know that there's, like, carpets, uh, urns. I'm pretty sure urns show up. Uh, 
Oh yeah, you got uh, on the course apples. Uh, oh, is, apples. is normal. Yeah, apples is the Virgin Atlantic theme. Uh, give me those firm beliefs from Pears and Grey Witch. There oh you go. Oh my gosh, yeah, firm beliefs. That's what we need. We need the firm beliefs. All right, so this is yeah, this is Aladdin for the Game Boy. Look at this wonderful frame rate. Look at these wonderful. Uh, I think my favorite choice was that they made all active sprites outlined by a white border. Um, now they are playing on the. They have been given the kindness, and by them I mean you, the viewers, have been given the kindness of them playing on the SGB Advanced card. So they are playing with super or enhanced. They are they are playing on on the the Super Game Boy so that we get colors. Um, because you know it just would have been this weird draw gray the entire time. And I I felt like you guys you viewers out there the you viewers, deserve better. Yeah. You deserved better. So of course we're collecting genie heads. That's why I was. That was why I was a warrior. I was or a wizard. I was an old, wizened old oh uh, magic user. So I could tell him that if you seek the cave of wonders, then there's amazing things in it for you, my boy. I, <laughs> the cave of wonders. You know, I think we've actually had this Aladdin on Crusoe Grande before. Let me. Let me. Just you a have little searching, yeah. On the NES, this is the Game Boy version, which means it runs I slightly slower. I swear that we had the Game Boy version. I'm, I'm looking. Okay, I'm doing some sneaking, sneaking around. Okay, I mean we had the SMS version, which is actually really impressive. Uh. Let's see, what about on Wait, that who, page? What? You have the SMS version? No. Yo, y'all, never mind. You know what? I used to... Do you remember how earlier in the tournament I was always worried that I was picking games that were borderline good and the, like... And I was worried my, about my quality submitting these to the games. And then you tell me that somebody submitted SMS, the, the like, amazing SMS game to Crusoe Grand. <laughs> Yo, y'all know I've gotten... You know what? Y'all's taste is a problem. I would definitely say it's the best of... Well, no, the Super Nintendo version is probably better. Uh, it's better than this Game Boy version, but yeah, not by... Uh, I, I would still say that it's bad in some ways. Uh, but a fantastic tech demo. By the way, yeah, it looks in Tuso Grande. Back on March 18th, 2017, we had Disney's Aladdin for Game Boy Color. Uh... But is this the Game Boy Color or just Super Game Boy version? This is, okay, so the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy games are specifically different. This is, in oh, fact, really? the Super Game Boy. Yeah, because, again, the problem is that the Game Boy Color game is an acceptable game, a, a perfectly reasonable game to exist. It moves really nice. It actually does pretty well and takes advantage of the, suit of the, the Game Boy Color's additional resources. Because that's a thing that a lot of people seem to tend to forget is that Game Boy Color games are not backwards compatible with the Game Boy because they had actually a, the Game Boy Color had additional resources. OK, gotcha. Uh, they actually, uh, if any of you remember the carts, they came with a little bulge in the back of the cart that prevented it from being slotted into a Game Boy prop, a Game Boy itself. Yes, yeah, some of the games, some of the games were backwards compatible, and I think RBW has the answer that it was it was Black Cart that did it. Huh. Interesting. Um, but if it was if it was Game Boy Color specifically, uh, and it wasn't backwards compatible because the Game Boy Color was a stronger system. It had a bulge in the back, so you couldn't actually slot it in the, the system. That's actually, if you notice, um, what was it? It's a, the difference between DS carts and a 3DS cart is that there's a little notch in it to prevent um, the wrong thing from being slotted in the wrong spot. Now, I want well, no, not everybody... 3DS. It was something, it was something else. Uh, I'm trying to remember where that slot is. Anyway. That's all right. I, I want everybody to know, by the way, that uh, by all means, we are not out of bad Aladdin games uh, because you know what uh, China is really good at. It's called bootlegs, and there are definitely some Aladdin bootlegs out there uh, that we've never seen around here. Uh, I just need to make sure you can actually beat the first level. <laughs> that's, oh, the, yeah. that's the biggest struggle, you know, getting bootlegs that are, you know, playable. Yeah, what is yeah. What sound? Oh, yeah, this is, this is the wonderful genie uh, roulette. 
And it doesn't matter how many points, if you get the lose, you just, you don't get any more power-ups. Oh, Having okay. escapes from the guards, Aladdin is approached by an old beggar. There's a cave, boy! Oh, extra oh, life for Novasol. So now we're in the desert, of course, and we're trying to find the Scarab. Now, the players are on difficult, because this is actually not that uh, long of a game. Wait a second, this one has a whole new world. Hang on a second, that's something's not right. Give me one moment. Wait, is it not supposed to have a whole new world? I think it's the GBC one that screwed up the licensing for- No! That's what it was. It's the, um, the Game Boy Advance remake of the Capcom game does not have a whole new world playing during the carpet scene because they couldn't gain the licensing for it in the re-release. That's what it is. There we go. Uh, this game actually uses a whole new world in all the wrong spots. This is this is not the kind of stage that you should be having a whole new world playing. So they're both very close to death. Uh, like I said, I gave them difficult so that they couldn't just damage boost through the vast majority of this game. They have to actually like play it properly. But of course, what I did not tell them, uh, yeah, very specifically, is that the difficulty doesn't actually matter because they're both going to get to the cave of wonders and die horribly. Okay, how many continues do you get, or are there continues? I believe there's like two continues or something. Okay, that's fun. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult to tell what is actually a platform and what's not. This is bad. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, welcome to the desert. Good, I... good luck finding your way around. Oh, and, and the important thing is, I believe they have to find the scarabs in this one. Oh no. Oh no. Well, there there was like no indication that they need to do anything else in this level. I love it. No, so like, so like for the Game Boy, you guys, you guys are attempt saying about this this uh, attempt at music and the like. Legit for the Game Boy sound chip and the like, these songs are banging. They actually, this is pretty good. Specifically, the reason that I gave them this over the NES will be coming up when they enter the after the the prior mentioned. Uh, the, the Cave of Wonders. Yeah, let's just say Arab Rock for Game Boy, I prefer mm -hmm. more than the Genesis version. Oh, yeah. Okay, the Arab, so. Arab Rock for Game Boy is banging. Like, yeah. like I almost want to use an expletive to explain how good that is, but of course I'm with you. I won't, I won't you'll, swear you'll like my sailors. Well. well, yeah, I would ban you. You'd be you banninated. Wouldn't. You yeah. wouldn't. You just, you'd actually not notice that it happened. Your chat would call me out before you would. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. But again, but again, just like playing on Super Game Boy, just like not swearing, I do it for you, Chatters. Aww, I do that it is all great. For you. Uh, so, by the way, this is the end of Iron GM for the winners bracket, I believe. Uh, we do have the losers bracket that will be returning to Iron GMs, though. So you know we're not completely done with these fun, weird choices. But it, it, it's really good to see this getting wrapped up with what I think is a fantastic game to watch. It's it's definitely rough. I mean, we've already seen plenty of crap here. Yeah, yeah, no, I think this might be one of the most garbage games I've given, especially since I've got a track record of play of sending out games that seem very like while you're watching it, you're just like, wait, how is this game bad? No, while you're watching, you understand how this game is bad. And, oh, no. Oh, no. no. By the no, way, so the, goes down. the person who did the music for this also did the music for Earthworm Jim Menace to the Galaxy. Uh, cool spot. We've got Pinball Fantasies, which I believe had amazing music. Cool World, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the action game. I'm not sure if that was any good. Uh, Robocop versus the Terminator, uh, same. How about Dragon's Lair uh, did some of the sound for that? Wait, Puznik, he's, he's got Puznik on his list, right? Hey, Puznik, Puznik's got a decent soundtrack to it. Does he? No, he doesn't, but he's got Rampart. Like, he's done music for so many different games here. It, it, it's impressive. Uh, this guy is Mark Cooksey. Poltergeist is absolutely trying to take it take it easy with their their movies. They've, they've got the blink going on. And oh, a nice, nice dodge there. Ooh, yeah. I know I just said knife twice. That was a joke. Okay, people. It's oh, humor. my gosh. It's humor. 
I think this is the exact dude that killed uh, Nova Soul 2. And it kills Poltergeist! Yeah. Ha! I love it. I love it so much. How please, if Procentia banned me, he knows that I'd only give him bad games in Mystery Tournament when I eventually sub him in. I still haven't found your sub spot, though, yet, so you're not in just yet. Somebody else was over you. But we're getting there. Yeah, one You're safe day. for now. You're safe for, like, two days when I find out who's not showing. <laughs> this knife dude is a jerk. Yeah, like, what a meanie. He's positioned in a, in a good spot to just, like, take you down. Because you, you gotta, you gotta, like... Honestly, that dude, you just damage boost him. If you got the hit, you got the hit. Go in there and get him. But oh, oh no, you don't have the scarabs. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, poor players. Did you think that you could finish this level without finding the scarab? Oh, no, 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 no. You are not so <laughs> lucky. That is not a boss fight, Poltergeist. That is not a boss fight. I didn't tell them about the scarab. The old man did. I didn't need to. So They'll figure it out. You know what's a little bit terrifying? I, I'm looking at the programmer here, uh, Mark Crane. He did programming for Dragon's Lair, The Legend, specifically the Game Boy game. Uh, he also did the programming for uh, the GBA port of the Three Stooges. Oh, yo, is that the same as the uh, DOS game? for the Street Stooges. I remember owning, having that DOS game, I, a friend of mine had it. I think so. I, I don't know, but it's a little bit terrifying. All I remember from that game was the useless ability to start slapping people around uh, because it is Three Stooges. So you could just, there was like a slapstick button that did nothing, but just slapstick. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah. No, there no, there oh. is the slapstick mini game in uh, the NES version for sure. Hey. And Poltergeist figured out the scarab and goes on their way first. Unfortunately, Nova Soul did get the scarab and is not heading towards the end. Well, I mean, this isn't very straightforward, you know? Yeah, yeah. It might have been in my better interest to tell them about the scarab. But hey, you remember how I tend to always forget everything all the time? And until I've watched it directly. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know. You forget everything. Wow, you forgot to tell me who was doing audio. No, I didn't. Well, I mean, there is a there is a ping up here that says at Brosentia. Where? Audio. You, you, you want to see it? You want to see it? I will screenshot this BC and you will you will be sad. Look at this. Look, you're going to be you're going to be sad. I'm waiting, waiting for the screenshot. Here, here, here. No, I'm posting it in ch Oh wait, I don't think I can post it in chat. I don't know if I can. Um, I don't know. Oh wait, I think I can post it in chat. Do, do you guys want links if they're appropriate? What is it? I don't remember what your chat policy on links is. Bro. Bro. What? Oh, I don't, I don't know never mind. I, uh, I found it, okay. <laughs> no, I need to, the question is, can I link something in chat? I don't remember if I'm able to link appropriate things in chat. Okay, yeah. Uh, by the way, yeah, I found what you're talking about, so you don't need to share any evidence. It's fine. Are you? Are you? Sh yeah, yeah. Nope. Well, guess what? They <laughs> get it. No. Boom. No. No. Oh my Boom. gosh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I screenshotted yeah. this and I was yeah. waiting for it. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. We're, what? Dude. Yeah. We're, okay. They're saying that we're fighting again. Wow. I know, right? The link is so underwhelming and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> there is no point in it. <laughs> well, let's pay attention to the game for once because Polterghost is on stage three. <laughs> yeah, so Nova Soul has Scarab or in front of them. They just need to grab Scarab and go, but unfortunately they don't know. And uh, I think this might have been a mistake on my part. Uh, no, no. Okay, and here's good. why. Uh, because... You know, this is like picking this game up uh, because your grandma had some Game Boy lying around. And yeah, that's yeah, true. Like, you, you know, uh, the, if the game actually tells you in the cutscene what to do, you should probably pay attention to cutscenes. Like, skipping text can actually be a fatal 
downfall when it comes to playing these games. So, yeah. Oh, it, and the game, they, 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 the game did say to find the scare. It 100% says it. Okay, simply good. put, good. if Poltergeist did see that and Novasol didn't, then that is a good enough reason. Skipping text can be fatal, but Novasol just picked up the other half of the Scarab. Let's see if he can get to the end. Oh, uh, Okami of Games, they've both played the Capcom version. You've played the Capcom version. Yeah, I have. Oh. I literally said that. <laughs> Did you not pay attention to the part where I, like, literally in one stream, I played, um... The SNES, yeah, know, Game Gear, Game Boy, NES, Game Boy Color, SMS, and GBA versions. I actually think that the Super Nintendo version is a good game. Like, it, it's hard. It's very difficult. It's got really good and fun movement to it. Yes. Oh no, can Poltergo or can Novastone not yeah, throw just, it because it's stuck inside up. the platform? There we go, level complete. Yes, there is a GBA port of the Super Nintendo game and it's not good. Hmm, maybe somebody should put that on their Kusa list. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh my gosh, yeah, I, I just... I'll go ahead and formally apologize to Blasmus Roar for missing your message. Uh, that was completely my fault, and I'm gonna cry now. Ah! First entry, you're under the uh, impression that I care. <laughs> it's cute. It's, it's so adorable, but, like, I just... I don't. Oh, okay. Well, good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, right now, Poltergeist is trying to get through the stage. Uh, does this one have any win conditions, or does it just get to the end? This one has a boss! Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Because, because the street vendor is totally a boss, right? I mean, in some days. <laughs> oh my gosh, have you ever been like stopped by some sort of street vendor and them just trying to sell something to oh no oh no i'm remembering in brazil uh street vendors there uh they exist and unfortunately they have technology so a lot of them like drive around in cars and have loudspeakers on top of their cars blasting out what they're selling and it's <laughs> one of like it's just weird to be sitting here in your heart car and or no 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 in your house you know having a peaceful afternoon and then you hear somebody driving by and being like three popsicles for one hell it's like <laughs> i don't want to buy popsicles i want i want you to be quiet you know okay wait no it might have been wrong it's not the merchant it's the little thief dude so yeah we gotta fight the little thief dude he's not nice so I guess maybe that was the merchant? I don't know. They look very oh, the thief same. versus thief! So we've got, of course, this exciting boss fight, and the scarab has been grabbed, so now all we have to do is beat up Donkey Guard up top. Aha! Yes! But of course, we gotta collect the flute in order to summon the rope in order to do this, but the rope, if I remember, is not so generous as to take you up top. No, we're just gonna go floating all the way backwards. Grab yourself some power up. Don't jump off the rope! Oh! You fool! You jumped off the rope! The rope was taking you somewhere and you left it behind! Take it back, guys! <laughs> well, you know, Walter Ghost will figure that out. They, they've been doing pretty well so far, you know? And I think I probably would have been tempted to jump because I'd be afraid that the rope would just stop at that point. Oh yeah, especially since it looks like there are bonuses and they're just, that's all the rope does is, hey, here's some bonuses. So Poltergeist is trying to make the jump. Is that jump possible? I don't think so. You just gotta ride the rope. Ride the rope! Oh yeah, oh, right, yeah. See, this game, if I remember correctly, I don't remember, I think that fall was, yeah. So uh, if you go forward enough, because everybody knows that physics works, that if you jump forward off of a building, you don't continue forward. At some point, you stop your horizontal momentum and go straight down. Oh, that's Because that's good. just how jumping and knocking over your monster onto your desk works. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, go, go, go. Ah! Well, right now, Poltergeist is currently trying to figure out where to go. Uh, Novasol just got destroyed by the thief. Yeah, you gotta find the flute and find the way to finish the stage. Uh, we're, we're starting to get to some pretty 
fun stages though in the near future, you know? I'm, I'm just hoping nobody gets a full game over because that would be a pretty big setback. We might see both of them run into that though, we have to see. Oh! I'm really glad that they actually got the the official songs in the game, though. You know, that that's something that's always disappointing if you're playing a Disney game and it has all original music. I don't want to hear your original crap. I want to hear the songs from the movie. That's why people are going to buy it. What's that? It's not a joke. It's a joke. Stop the scoundrel! Da da. Let's not be too hasty. Still, I think he's rather tasty. Yeah, yeah. Very important. Eating Aladdin. Cannibalism is canon. <laughs> Ah, oh. oh geez. Like, I swear when Aladdin falls, he's got a solitary nipple. Like, like, watch the sprite, everybody. Oh, were they singing? I was singing. See, y'all, y'all brought up singing. I, I sung, I, see, see, the thing was that, wait, are they still playing with the rope? When he falls, he has a nipple. Just one nipple <laughs> sticking out, okay? Oh, he sure does, actually. It's like the Mowgli nipple all over again. The Mowgli nipple. Why do all of your games have nipples, Blast Miss Roar? Look, all right, I can't change because who I am. Because they're Disney? I can't change who I am! All of them! <laughs> oh. I'm I didn't sorry notice that it this time. It's entirely bro's fault. I'm sorry that that's the thing that I notice. It's just my <laughs> life, you know? Yeah, stab Find him! The stab the child! Nova Soul, stab him! Find the flutes, Culture Ghost. Yeah, so... <laughs> oh, the child got you. I don't know, I'm not... I'm not opposed to nipples, they're fine. They're cool. They're weird. But, you know, it's... I think it's even stranger if you don't have them at all. Oh, wow. Well, Gross I mean, Wow. No, Wow. Wow. I'm just trying to wow. imagine. On this episode of Kuso Grand, Bro Sentry says something insensitive to another group of people. Look, Barbies? Yeah. I'm sorry, survivors. Barb. Oh, no. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wow. Uh, uh -huh. no. You're the yeah. one. You're putting no. words in my yep. mouth, okay? Uh huh. Uh huh. Everybody, you see how bad a person Bro Sentry is? Yep. Uh huh. Wow. I'm definitely a better person than Brosetia. Yep, 100% thinks <laughs> yeah, that. I'm certain you are. That is mean. No. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta take that back. <laughs> so angry. So angry. <laughs> wow. What? Why must I always make things weird? Well, I'm not the one who'd put a nipple on Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of all the limited sprite resources that you have, you decided that the nipple absolutely had to happen. They we were both Game Boy the games, nipple. too. Like, they, they were both Game Boy games, too. <laughs> I don't think he even has one in the cartoon. Let me see. Okay, this is gonna be a weird Google search. Does <laughs> Aladdin have nipples? Why don't you just look at uh, all images of Aladdin from the cartoon? He doesn't. He has none. Nope. All right, come on, ghost. Hang on there. Hang in there, buddy. No, don't do it, ghost, ghost, <laughs> don't do it again. I found a picture that I absolutely cannot share, okay? Uh, but I'm really laughing right now. <laughs> Come on, hold on, stay held on. Poltergeist did it. He is Poltergeist yes. holding on. Yes. He did it. He did it. Oh, sweet delivery straight to the source. That's so stupid. What is stupid? What stupid? So stupid, stupid. All right, so now of course we fight against Donkey Guard. Yeah. Oh uh, there's a reason the game just provided you with a bunch of apples. Uh -huh. I would like to point out that Donkey Guard has three arms on his sprite. Wait, so here's oh one. Oh my gosh, she does! Oh. Yeah, you got a free phrase at the right spot, and that sprite has three arms, and Poltergeist is through. 
It's Donkey Kong because he's throwing barrels. Come on, guys. Culture. All right. So with both halves of the scarabs, he has been ambushed by the guards because everybody remembers the part where Aladdin collected the scarab in town and then got arrested, right? Whatever the case is, Aladdin's in jail. Uh, why are there birds in jail? I hate jail. Oh, bats, please. Birds, Come on, they're bats. bats. No, no. But birds, birds are, are jerks, birds. but bats are the worst. Oh. No, wait, actually, I did play Ninja Gaiden recently. Birds are jerks. Yeah, and bats are birds, okay? We've already established that uh, per Nightbot, so. Yeah. And hats can be bats, can be that's can be thises. You can be a bat. Kiki! <laughs> wabba Jack, Wabba Jack, Wabba Jack, Wabba Jack. You know, I feel like if I were any type of flying creature, that would not be a bad choice. I mean, bats are pretty legit. I mean, they're... you just chill out most of the day, get drunk off of fruits. They're cute. Mosquitoes. They're so cute. Be adorable. Look at flying their... foxes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't necessarily love the noses too much. Like, for... Like, you see the nose, and you're like, okay, that's fine for a bat. If you put that nose on, like, I don't know, a cat, that would be terrifying. It only I, works for the bats. I can't believe we're watching Aladdin and Brosentia manage to make another Robin Williams connection. Which one? Batty from Ferngully. Oh, I... I saw right. Fern Gully like once as a kid, and I, I think even then I was so Utah that I was like, wow, <laughs> this is a little environmental messaged. <laughs> What's the phrase? Slight environmental movie. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, the I, message I, was pretty environmentally. Oh, yeah, like 100%, which. I don't know. I, I think it's a pretty good movie. I enjoy it. Yeah, I, I, I used to watch it a ton when I was a kid. I need to watch it again. It's been so long. I don't even remember what it's about, but if it's got Tim Curry, as Cadis is saying. Yeah, uh, it's that... got Tim Curry and Robin Williams, oh and gosh. it's a non-Disney animated feature. Is it Bluth? I'm trying Wait, to... Is it... Yeah, no, but the, 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 uh, oh yeah, Robin Williams rapping, by the way. Oh no. Okay, well, that's fine. Was it Don Bluth? Oh god, now I need to remember who's yeah, played. I, I see it directed by Bill Croyer, uh, produced by Peter Fairman. Who played Batty, isn't it? 20th Century Fox and Croyer Films worked on it. Okay. Okay, it was Robin Williams. Okay, I was not wrong. What was I, what was I getting confused about? Oh, you know what? Oh, never mind. Don't worry about me. I don't know people. Yes, no, Robin Williams. These are the same people who designed Widget, the World Watcher. I hate Widget. <laughs> He's hideous. <laughs> uh, how about the vehicle animation for Jetsons the movie? Yeah. Hey, vehicle animation is very important for the Jetsons. They designed Widget, though. Ugh. I'm very upset. Oh, and apparently they did the original animation for Pitfall, the Mayan adventure. I actually played that a lot when I was younger. Uh, I mean, I Disney Disney did a lot wrong, Jago. Oh, like, seriously, they wronged Robin Williams so hard with Aladdin. They got mad when he wouldn't quit Ferngully for this. They promised, he, he made them promise in their contract that they were not going to use him as an advertising figure in the the movie he just wanted it to be a role of role or just a role and the like and they used the marketing of genie so hardcore yeah that robin williams was super ticked off and did not return for aladdin 2. well they eventually made amends and he came back for um aladdin 3. let me go ahead Return of Jafar was just going to be a TV special. In essence, uh, probably it was going to be three or four episodes. I'm trying to remember exactly. That's why in weird places you see it fade to black. The same thing with Aladdin 3. It's just Aladdin 3. They figured that they had a good enough story going on that it would be worth turning into a movie as well. Uh, Return of Jafar, really, if you watch it with the lens that, yeah, it was just supposed to be like a TV special, it makes 100% sense. It's fair. Poor Nova Soul is very stuck on this stage at this point. Oh dear. Poltergeist is getting quite a lead. Did 
I didn't see exactly what happened. Did Nova Soul not? Uh, did Nova Soul also fail against our rope buddy, or did Nova Soul fail to defeat the thief? Because I don't think I saw the thief being defeated. I think Nova Soul always gets there with too little life to fight the thief. Like, yeah, it's the fight happens, not successful. Like, the only thing that came, good came out of that is that I believe Robin Williams was made amends to due to a large donation to a charity. Oh, really? Well, yeah, that... I believe that's one of the conditions, like, that's one of the ways that they used to win him over. Watch out! He did come back for round three, and Poltergeist is through! Yes! Do we get the music yet, please? Nope, we get this crap. Nope, we got. Lose! Give me the scarab! This is not how it's supposed to. Oh, yeah! Okay, this is not next how stage is gonna have the good music. Next stage is gonna have the good music. This is the worst stage. Um, This is awful. Because can you tell what is good and what is bad? Okay, did uh, you guess the spikes the on the floor are bad? Okay, cool. So how do you avoid the spikes on the floor? <laughs> I, do you ride the Oh, rock? that's water! Game Wait. boy, go, okay, bye-bye, enjoy death. The water insta-kills you? Oh, the water no. insta-kills you. Ow! You know how you get over those spikes? Did Ow. you notice that that ceiling was a climbable, shimmyable object? What? That's not spikes up there, that's, that's shimmy power. Oh, grab on and yeah, I never across. would have known that. Oh my gosh, how? But you have, to ride, you have to ride the thing first. Yeah, but it barely even looks like a thing. It looks like a dead bat. But uh, Poltergeist rode it up how once before. How do you land before. on it, though? It may have already made its trip. I believe there's a way to push it to the top. There we go. Oh, Poltergeist gets run on. Okay, good. There's thing. Don't jump forward. You know that the horizontal momentum does not carry continuously, right? I like. Think there, there we, we go. go. I no, mean, it jumping is, forward in fact, worked. It is water right now. Remember, the cave of light or the cave of wonders is currently not ticked off. Yeah, just wait. It is not suffering heartburn. But those statues, of course, touch nothing but the lamp, but destroy all the statues in your way. Otherwise, you can't spawn the rock that lets you get through. I kind of like this music. It's it's definitely not. Uh, it's not Arab rock, but no, it's no, not no. bad. Like, it, it's an original one that they made, and it's pretty good. I enjoy it. All right, so Poltergeist is making decisions here. And a leap of faith, nicely executed. Unfortunately, uh -huh. they will run out of continues at some point. They've actually possibly been gaining continues as a result of the um, wheel at the end. No, 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 please. Alter goes trying to ride the thing again. Because, <laughs> you know, that's intuitive for... How, why is it working? Why? I want, I want the audience out there to know, however, that this fight is far from over. This game does have full game overs. It is entirely possible from one for one of these players to like it is entirely possible for poltergeist to get a full game over at this point now something i'd also like to point out is that with nova soul being much closer to the game over than poltergeist is though poltergeist is in a much deadlier predicament and therefore will die faster oh the, i hope poltergeist recognizes that you got to destroy the statue i, I, I think poltergeist swing your sword at it. it there, there we go, go. Okay, so Poltergeist recognizes that. Um, but I, I like, based on the life count and the distance that they're in and the possibility of game overs and continues and the like, there's a very real strong possibility that Nova Soul gets the first game over. And, and it's actually one of the reasons why we don't like hard game overs in Mystery Tournament in particular is because basically whoever game overs first has an advantage so long as their opponent also game overs. Yeah. So there is still a non-zero chance. And if you think the, I mean, it's been a half an hour, but these, this game is, took me with one full game over, it took me 55 minutes. And I full game overed at the Cave of Wonders stage two. Oh, Nova game over it already? Oh, okay, never mind then. Oh, actually, yeah, I think you're right. Yep, my bad. This is actually the first stage, not the second. Or yeah, somewhere. Uh, at the same time, I you know, uh, 
because we have the hard time limit here, uh, you, you have to decide, you know, is it going to be worth continuing this push, uh, especially if you do know that there are limited continues or not. Uh, like, there, there are a lot of choices that have to be made on the fly when it comes to Cusa Grande. And oh, yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes getting a game over puts you so far back that there's just no chance that you can catch up. Or you start panicking enough that you just can't get back in it, you know. Uh, I do think that early game over is better than a late game over, though. This platform is rude! Like, what is it doing? <laughs> Does the platform even know? I don't... well... Probably not, no. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so you're going to call into the play the fact that the platform is an inanimate object, huh? I'm looking for it. Like, it's not supposed to be inanimate. You're an inanimate object! Like, okay, I'm reading the manual, and I'm trying to find any information about these platforms and how they work. Sorry that I called you an inanimate object. I'm not in oh, my gosh. Well, most days I'm kind of... <laughs> kind of inanimate. <laughs> One of these days, people will figure out that I speak only in references, and then they'll start putting together all the things that I've watched recently. Oh, no. <clears throat> Alright, so we got some health. Poltergeist wisely deciding to take a moment to grab the other health. Thing. Good plan. Oh, yeah. Like, All right. I... So good luck climbing the rope. Oh, there we go. You got the rope. Honestly, the early levels in this uh, are relatively fast if you know what you're doing and know where you need to go. Uh, it's just because it's hard difficulty, rushing could end up, you know, be being costly because you would take so much damage. Yeah, and it's, it's a really good plan right now to, to, to take it slow here, especially in this stage, because this stage likes to kill you with silly stuff. And mostly it's just figuring out the terrain early on is really hard to do. This this stage is going to get a little bit weirder too as we move forward. There is a wonderful moment where Magic Carpet throws you into a blind drum. Because we all know that Magic Carpet does a really good job of setting Aladdin up to kill himself rather than like make him, you know, safe or something. Yeah. Uh, so one thing that you can actually do in this game is buy continues. Uh, their wishes, they're at the peddler that you occasionally come across. Uh, I, I'm not sure if he shows up later on in the game. If so, uh, extra life is five coins and a wish or a continue is ten gems. Uh, yeah. Which he shows up in every level. Well, almost every level. In that case... Yeah, as soon as you've got, like, five or ten gems, you probably want to be doing something uh, and going and finding him. Like, I would save them, make sure you have uh, multiples of ten. Don't waste them on the extra lives, because a continue is worth, what, four? Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Hold it, I love how you're just, like, oh. right before the ladder or the rope, and it's just like, no, 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 no that's no, not no. how jumping works. That's silly, you're silly. All right, here's the merchant who is inexplicably hanging out in the thing. Come on, buy your wishes. Buy your wishes. It's a deal. Which I one did he buy? We don't know. Life. He bought the extra life. Which Here's another extra makes life. Makes sense. Because what the heck is a wish? Uh, it's a continue. Well, still, that's going to be five extra lives. Not a bad thing. No, especially when you don't know what a wish is. Find more gems. Gotta find more gems. Find more gems. So, oh yeah, so basically the problem is that the A button and the B button are buying. <laughs> you have to like press down or something to get out of this stuff. So. I actually think with the information that Poltergeist has, that's a fine decision. It's just uh, taking the risk to go for something that you don't know is scary. Oh, absolutely. And it's 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 a 100% a reasonable decision. Um, Especially since the benefit to lies are that if you actually do hit a checkpoint, 
you know, over a continue. A continue is more worth it value-wise in terms of life, because it's three lives for the price of two. But extra lives are really useful on account of them actually checkpointing you at places. Yeah. Uh, in, in this situation, I highly advise for uh, the extra lives, because you are going to lose all of them, regardless of what you choose, in the Cave of Wonders as soon as we get there. Or in the Cave of Wonders Part 2, as soon as we get there. Oh, yeah. Y'all think I'm probably, like, doubling down too much on this statement about the Cave of Wonders and how bad it is, but, like, they're, they're gonna game over at the Cave of Wonders. I'm confident in this. No, no, I, I don't think you're exaggerating. Yeah. It's gonna be bad. Like, I have a very strong feeling when I gave this game out that, that winner of this game is going to be whoever got further in the Cave of Wonders first. Like... All right, so so he knows up there is the merchant, so don't go up that way. By the way, fun fact, it actually might be fully reasonable for the merchant to be hanging out here in the Cave of Wonders, because the merchant originally, if I recall in Aladdin, was supposed to be the genie. Well, I mean, it was voiced by Robin... It? He was voiced by Robin Williams. The character was voiced by Robin Williams. Yeah, I, I, I think that... Having the merchant appear completely makes sense, yeah. I love how these spikes just get you every time. Like, all right, great, what do I do? Nope, merchant. It's all that's up here, buddy. It's just the merchant. You hit the statue, you unlock something. What'd you unlock? Go find it. Or get killed by that same bat again. That's an option, too. I love how there's just a little bit of spikes before that statue so they can kill you. Like, I almost just did their... The fall killed them, but... <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have been looking forward to inflicting su this suffering on somebody since the start of the tournament. And these poor saps are... are... the unlucky folks what fell into this. Let's see. I've uh, been too the... kind thus far, and I think it set some false expectations. Apparently, uh, the peddler in uh, Aladdin shows up in multiple... Uh, well, in Kingdom Hearts is pretty important, but apparently he shows up in an episode of Full House. <laughs> Uh, specifically the episode The House Meets the Mouse, which seems a little bit weird, odd. Uh, yeah, uh, apparently House originally was he was... a popular TV show, so it makes sense that Disney would try to do a crossover episode with it. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, oh, sorry to interrupt you, but here is the, the, the magic carpet. Magic carpet, we're going on a magic carpet ride. A whole blind jump. Oh no, where do you have to it's jump? It's waiting for them in a sack. Oh no. Wait, oh no, it took you further down than I expected. So the thing is that uh, if you don't wait there for a moment and you don't think that he's stopping, it might, uh, you might jump off that and just jump right into the water. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 Steve from Full House did play uh, Aladdin. Poltergeist gets the lamp! All right! Music time? And that, no. my friends, yes, get your music notes ready. Get your music notes ready. I'm gonna crank it. Crank it. Crank it. I'm saying nothing. No, it's no, a whole it, new no, world. Wait. No, it's a whole new world. Wait one second. I swear the Game Boy version has the best. Is it the GBC version? What's the best version of Fairbrook? Hang on. I have to check my notes. <laughs> this I is show you the, the world perfect escape, escape music. Oh no, music. this is the crushing of my dreams. My hopes and dreams. No, it's GBC that has the good version of Airbrook. Oh. <laughs> everybody, I'm sorry that you stuck around for this. I'll crank it anyway. Yeah, yeah, the Blackness Roar's mistakes right here. I can show you the world. Full of blasphemous hopes and dreams. I want to do one thing. I can't understand anything you're saying. That's all right. That's fair. 
<laughs> yeah, so they chose a whole new world instead of Air of Rock for the escape. This area is full of lava and rocks. Like, this, this, this area is full of instant kill boulders Fire and boulders lava. Wielded through a stupid endless cave, a whole new death. <laughs> yeah. I am so sad. But it's okay. You know, y'all just go look up Arab Rock for Game Boy Color because it's absolutely fantastic. Yo, you know what? You know what? I'm going to solve my problems in life. This right, I have a YouTube on my side. I can go do that. Uh, Shall I only... share it with the rest of the class? Yeah, you can go ahead and share it in uh, stream chat. I only found one version once and it had enough uh, audio glitches that I got angry and didn't put it in my playlist. So if anybody wants to, like, record a clean version of Arab Rock, then you are welcome to do so. That would be great. Yeah, this one has the glitches and stuff, but... It's better than nothing. Okay, there you, you know go, what? I'm... Here's, here's, here's Arab Rock. I'm gonna this go ahead song and mute be Poltergeist. Okay. And put it up anyway? Yeah, uh, even though it's probably going to sound fairly bad. It's going to crackle a bit, but that's all right. Yeah, get ready for crackling. Come on. Come on. Get there. Sorry about that, everybody. It was a little tiny bit loud. Wow, Poltergeist, you know what? I should have shut up. I don't know why I said I thought he'd be able to clear the Cave of Wonders, wouldn't be able to, and then does it in one try. Those platforms are deceptive. Their hitbox is actually oh, yeah. really weird. That's like, awesome. Like, Poltergeist is just is bonkers. Also, Whee! note that there's a lot of extra lives being collected right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, died on the first boulder. Okay, wasn't a full first try, but... All right, so I do love this, uh, I love this lava sprite. Oh yeah, by the way, which way is it going? Uh-oh. The wave of lava? You mean the... It doesn't move at all. It just looks like <laughs> some cat paw or something gonna reach out and bop you. Like, so, uh, okay, everybody listen to how awesome this is. This is amazing. This, this is a banger right here. This is what you should be listening to, and also it's getting faster. The call is approaching, but it's getting faster. Ah, but it's already over. What the heck? What? And oh yeah, brother. Hey, that. welcome to the water! Yeah, that's water, if you didn't know, because of course the palace is flooded. Because you're entering through the guy through the through the through the, the palace gardens, where the flamingos were. Yeah, honestly, Poltergeist is doing so well that I don't think Novasol has much of a chance. It, it still is possible. There was a bit of a possibility of some level of contention here, um, in that uh, it, it's always a question, sometimes in Puso Grand, where you, and in blind races in general, where you have to decide how much of an advantage certain amount of non-blindness is. In all fairness, Poltergeist did uh, play the first stage of this or so in Mystery Triathlon, but Novosol went ahead and said to go for it anyway. And I do not think, though, that that knowledge ahead of time, especially with how much Poltergeist fought with that poor rope. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think that this was as much of an advantage early on as Poltergeist because honestly, throughout the rest of this, this has been pure skill. Well, yeah, stage one, it's been neck and neck. Stage one was neck and neck. Yeah, I'd say that, uh, you know, considering that they agreed to it and that uh, after the first stage, they were just right up against each other. I think that's, you know, pretty indicative that the first stage didn't necessarily help too much. Yeah, and Poltergeist has just been absolutely fantastic about this. No, we made sure that they are blind to the Genesis version as well. The both players had only played the Capcom version. My music's off. I need to restart this this song. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to more era block here. This is seriously a banger and a half. Like, because it's the same song they used in the Genesis version. It's just that on the GB sound chip, it's like amazing. But that was the 
for Genesis, it's pretty good too. Like, it's not bad at all, but the Game Boy is just so much better somehow. Don't worry, folks. I knew enough about I, I know enough about the differences in in the systems to know what to ask about blindness and like. I know the difference between the three versions. Mm -hmm. The fun part was you remember that mistake that statement that I uh, that that I, I played the Aladdins in a row, right? The problem was that I did this after Kingdom Hearts uh, one and ran into a problem where I had to find for Chain of Memories. Uh, uh, an, an Aladdin game when I've already played all of them. So, anyways, the quest for Aladdin's treasure for PS2 is <laughs> not a Disney game. Uh oh. <laughs> I knew that going into it, but what other choice did I have? I don't remember oh, how and why I ended up playing his Hero's Revenge. Bootlegs! Oh, God, that's right, Plumbo. You were watching me play Aladdin's Treasure, weren't you? <laughs> yes. I hope you like Sokoban, but with legitimately a two frame or a two second animation to get into the build or into the um, two second animation or two second animation to get into the block pushing one second per oh, no. square of block pushing that you do. And when you let go four seconds of animation to let go of the block. What? I, that might have been reversed. It might be four seconds to go into pushing, two seconds to go off. But every time you need to change that direction, and the game doesn't make complicated Sokoban levels. No, it just makes you push seven blocks across the entire stage. <laughs> and it's huge, Bosentia. It is bad Euro PS2, your mother's... Well, I might need to yes, look at did. it a little bit. Just, just I know, a I'm tiny not, bit. I'm, I'm, I, there's a, I'm so sad that you guys won't let me use PS2 games here, okay? I came into this going, man, I hope that I have some poor sap that gets to play my PS2 badness. But y'all are like, well, there's some technical limitations there. No, I'm not well, fine. I'm sorry, I'm fine. Blast Majora. Maybe you should go make a better emulator, huh? Well, maybe you should go like, um... No. I'm making a robot, okay? Like and subscribe to Procentia. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Uh, yeah. No. Well, I mean, you can. <laughs> oh, I'm Tetra not... It's a deal. Uh, let's make a deal. Come on. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's behind Aladdin's face? Uh, Wait, did Nova Soul screw up? Oh, no. Wait, Nova Soul is still in the stage. What happened? I missed it. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I... Like, I... Poltergeist is through the stage. I feel like Poltergeist has no, uh... Really no reason to worry because they're doing so well. They're gonna take the victory. Nova Sol is pretty much out of this at this point. Yeah, this is this is entirely normally I don't like to call races ahead of time, but like there is a non-zero chance that Ultra Ghost beats the game at this point. It is absolutely like there's there's just no way they're gonna be able to pull this off. Yeah, but no this is this is winner's bracket, right? It is winner's bracket, yeah. It's yeah. like, honestly, neither of the players is going to be eliminated after this match. Uh, it's just unusual to see this big of a divide. But then again, uh, Poltergeist just one shot the Cave of Wonders, which uh, doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. It, it just doesn't. I want to point out I played all the other Virgin point ports before I played this one, and it just doesn't happen. Yeah, it's just unfortunately PS2 emulation is really hard. Now, in my defense, the games that I would have them play are like 50 megabytes. That's right. You know it's a good game when it's a PS2 game that takes 50 megs. Actually, I'll go ahead and clarify. It wasn't one shot, the Cave of Wonders, but the escape before the carpet ride. Yeah, that. Yeah, it, it was escape that was that was one shot there. Well, it wasn't technically one shot. There was a boulder, but you know what? Whatever. It's still impressive either way, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, two I should shot. probably it was two turn shot. this up. 
Yeah, if you die from the very first boulder that shows up, like, five seconds into the stage, I'll go ahead and give you a little leeway and say, oh, that's a mulligan. Like, I really do want to point out, like... Mulligan Aladdin. It, it didn't... It didn't look like it. To, oh, oh well, no, this is a good spot for Nova... Nope, bad ah. spot for Nova Cole. There goes Poltergeist. Knife to the head. Those, those platforms in Escape really are nasty. They are not the size they look. All right, so Nova Soul gets the 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 the, the scarab, but unfortunately, you have to go off screen and then come back for the flute to show up. Are like, you why? serious? Yes. Why? That's why Nova Soul hasn't progressed. Oh my gosh, this they game haven't is so been bad. able to hit the the the. They haven't been able to hit the the flute to summon the rope. By far, this, it's... this is still not the worst Game Boy Disney game that I've seen, but this is pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Well, five minutes left. We are getting down to the last little bit of this. Ghost, we need you to clear. I think the fans need you to clear at this point. I, I don't disappoint me more than you already did by not choosing me as your GM. Oh my gosh. And I'm not going to oh, say no, no, like, knife. oh, the knife. Uh, some people here may know uh, what game I consider the worst Disney Game Boy game, and I actually want to play that some more because I think it's hilarious, but I'm not going to say it out loud because guess what? I want to see it in Cusa Grande sometime. <laughs> you got to DM me that one so I can make sure I play oh. it if I haven't already. Because uh, I got to yeah. I gotta know. I got to know. I got to know. I gotta know. I gotta know. I, I just gotta. I gotta know. I gotta know. Oh, I, I almost sent that to the wrong person. I'm sending it to you. I'm sending it. I gotta know. I don't know what that game is. You need okay. to play it. You need to play I, it. Okay. I will. The, I will. I, one day, rumor has it. All right. And this is wild speculation that one day I might finish Final Fantasy XI and get to play games again. <laughs> no, that'll never happen. First, I've got a tournament to get done. Uh, uh, it starts in two days. <laughs> it starts in two days, and I have nothing. <laughs> well, uh, well, I won't make you play. I, I won't make you do commentary tomorrow for Cusa Grande. We don't have any Cusa Grande tomorrow. So take a break or play Final Fantasy XI. No, I don't want to. Don't the, problem with, the problem with Final Fantasy XI is very simple. I'm at the start of Atragon, and therefore I don't want to start that storyline when I'm not going to be able to dedicate time to it. I don't know what that storyline is. Okay, I just started an expansion Oh no. story. So. Okay, okay. Well, I just started an expansion for 14. The, oh, you're on Heaven's Word now. Yeah, finally. Heck yeah! Go, go, go. I just, you need to... to you need to PM me all of your reactions to everything that happens in that storyline. Uh, no, I'm I'm playing I'm playing Final Fantasy XI because I'm playing through all the Final Fantasy games on my Games Quest. Um, so I'm only yeah. playing like the storylines and stuff. Poltergeist is probably going to disappoint me. Why? Because it's got two two minutes. Two hey, minutes. By disappoint, do you mean finish the game or no, not finish? Not finish. Final Fantasy XI is actual. No, no, not new, really new content coming up. No, literally, they they updated Final Fantasy XI in three different ways in the last two months, and they've just started a new storyline that will conclude in 20, uh, 2022. For 11? Yeah! The what? MMO is 18 years old, and they just released the start of a new storyline. What? Yeah. That is... Whoa. I've been enjoying it. It's a massively different beast than 14, but it's like... It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm wanting to be done with it so I can play other games, but, like, it's still pretty cool. Well, you know what? We've got just about one minute left, everybody. This has been a fantastic match. Thank you for showing up for uh, the odd weekday stream that happens 
every now and then for Kusagrun. I'm glad that uh, we had a good crew, and I'm gr glad that my internet didn't die today. You, 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 you! It's the final minute. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's the final post match interview. Say that again. You still gotta do the post match interview. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine, okay? You, I you, don't believe you, in jinxing. You, I don't you, believe. You, there's a gun on the wall owned by a man named Chekhov, and you've just, just, just invoked it. Yeah, well, are you a writer? Did you write this story of today? Huh? Yeah, actually, oh, actually, crap. as a co-commentator, technically everything I do on this stream is writing. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, all you do is write. Uh... <laughs> Okay. Time! Time! That's time! it! Uh, I was busy trying to do like five things at the same time. Uh, which is my excuse. We're done! <gasps> and you were so completed the level! What? Yeah! Wow. Sorry I just yelled at everybody, but that was exciting! Nova Soul gets through! Yes! We did it! Gets arrested! Jail time! I love jail time! Uh, Novasol was pretty sure that it was gonna be a loss, and yeah, like, sometimes you just have that feeling, and uh, Novasol definitely had a bit of a struggle. Not a big deal, though. Drinky Crow is about what I'm about to go do, alright? I've got plenty of non... Uh... Plenty of what? I got plenty of booze to go through as I try to set up stuff. Okay. Okay. Got... okay. Hello, got... Polter Ghost, and it looks like Novasol is coming in as well. Polter Ghost, how you doing? Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm all right for the most part. That that seemed like not the worst thing that could have been handed to me. <laughs> uh, Novasol, how about you? I'm very mad at that key. Oh Extremely my... mad at that key. Yeah. Yeah. How, how quickly did he find it? Uh, actually, much immediately? Struggled, st struggled with it a little bit longer as well, but then eventually, yeah, I did find it a little bit afterwards. Now, to Poltergeist's credit, though, you might be thinking, okay, so that clearly I made the wrong decision with the early, with with the, the allowing the game through with the minor amount of experience. But we, you, what you missed is Poltergeist's internal struggle with the rope. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I loved it! Oh, the Where's rope. the hitbox? Oh, well, it was more, uh -huh. where's the hitbox of the rope, and also, uh, Poltergeist jumped off the rope a little bit early, meaning that they had no idea that the rope would eventually go back the correct direction. <laughs> I mean, who would have expected this? I know, right? I mean, who would have expected to have to go back to get the key? <laughs> I would have. I think I killed. I think I killed that boss at like the thirty-minute mark. If I just yeah. thought to go back, I wonder where I could have gotten. It's just so dumb. Like th it is dumb. It's Cuso Grande. Welcome to dumb bad video yes. games, and this one has a few choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With that said, like Poltergeist, I'm pretty sure you were close to the end there. You disappointed uh, me, Poltergeist. You failed me for the last time. <laughs> I tried to get there. No, but honestly, man. we didn't think anybody was going to get past the first stage of the Cave of Wonders, or even the second no, escape. one. Escape specifically. Oh, escape. I, thought they'd, I thought they'd get past the Cave of Wonders. It's escape that I thought they'd all die horribly on. And somehow Poltergeist didn't. Yeah, you died once to the boulder, and then you got it the very next time, which is kind of shocking. Oh, I don't want to listen to this song. Next one. It was a lot of health rationing. Yeah, you, you did really well with that, though. Uh, Novasol, I, I know that you were really stuck on a lot of the game logic. Honestly, every once in a while, you run into a game that just doesn't work for you. Uh, and I can't well, really blame you with this game. It's more that the frame rate keeps eating your inputs. Like, you probably saw me trying to jump left on ropes and it just not happening. That was yeah. really frustrating. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Uh, I think my favorite one is how you just hit a horizontal movement wall and you're just like, all right, great, I'm plummeting now. <laughs> 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I especially loved it when, like, you did that at a rope, and you managed to drop, like, the pixel before you grabbed the rope right in the <laughs> death. It's great. This is such a good game, you guys. Hmm. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. I wonder, is there anything, like, redeemable from this game? I mean, I no. didn't hate the music. <laughs> Nova Saul's like, I'm not even gonna acknowledge that. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, yeah, no, the music was great. I think it was an especially wonderful, poignant, and bold choice to use a whole new world while you're running away from boulders in lava. Yeah, you know, that was probably a uh, poor choice. I don't know, wish I could have seen it! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Nova! But nope! Nope, nope, got bamboozled by a key for 30 minutes, cool. Oh my gosh, yeah. I feel so bad. I'm mad. Like... <laughs> I feel like I could have had a chance if I had just noticed sooner, but no. Just... This game is not hard. No. It's just obnoxious. Unfortunately, reading yes. is an important skill. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I uh... know! Yeah, and reading, it's not that I didn't know about the flutes. It's just I didn't know I had to get the thing, leave, and come back. Like, well, why would I ever assume that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That last flute where you're just like you have to grab the scarab, leave the screen, and then come back onto the screen yeah. in order to grab it. Yeah, it's the worst. Like, it's great. Yeah, <laughs> what I was going into that level. What I was going into that level thinking was because it says get all the flutes. I thought I had to get all of them and then kill the boss. But uh, no. Well, I, yeah, I, I think really that, cool. you know, I, I had an absolutely <laughs> fun time with this. I think this is the worst official version of Aladdin that's out there. Uh, although not all of them are good. Yeah, not all of them are good. <laughs> a lot of them are pretty dang rough, but this is the worst. <laughs> so I think I just have a greater tolerance for what's bad than y'all. I don't even know what to say here. I don't know. You got to try the game that I told you to try, Blasphemous Roar. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. It's going to be a treat. Oh, yeah. You'll love hate it. <laughs> well, OK. Any last thoughts, Nova Sol Poltergeist? Uh, just I'm trying to filter them for your chat. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 if it makes you feel better, if it makes you feel better, all right, I can, I can, after this conversation, pop down into one of the general chats down there, and you can just, just, just <laughs> play in and go ahead. No, no, I'm going to work out my aggression with exercise. I just, uh, I love running away from exploding skeletons while singing, one step ahead of the bread line. It's like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good! Oh my gosh, yeah, the music just was not appropriate in most cases. Uh, maybe you can find out about that later, Nova Sol. <laughs> oh, I don't well, think I'm gonna! Oh no. <laughs> well, everybody, i that's going to be it for today. Uh, I'm not gonna stream anything else today. I will try to be back tomorrow, so... Uh, Keep an eye out for a notification on Twitter or on Discord. I want to do some viewer's choice. Absolutely want to get some of that done, especially for people who have been sub for a while. So uh, fingers crossed that I don't feel like crap tomorrow and that Comcast doesn't feel like crap either. Let's go raid GDQ. They're doing oh, the Hotfix the Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Oh, but 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 this is my this is potentially my last time GMing since I've got to go focus on the other thing. And I just want everybody to know, and especially you, Bruce Sanchez. I just want you to know that I give you infinite guff, but I, I really do love you. you I love you, you too. You're wonderful awesome. being on this side. You know, as mad as I am, I'm happy I'm here. So thank you both. <laughs> I, that's what bad games do. They hurt you so that you can love your friends. <laughs> like you direct the hatred to the games and direct the love to the people who gave you the games. <laughs> I think that's called Stockholm Syndrome. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go raid GDQ. <laughs> Do we have a good raid message? One step ahead of the pack. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. Uh, Go tell them one step ahead of the pack or any of the lyrics from that song because they'll love it. See you hopefully tomorrow, but most likely at the very least this weekend. Bye! Bye, Blasphemous Rock! Bye! Bye, Poltergeist! Goodbye.